this scene with love. 6,000 sailors from the Eisenhower strike group pulling into port after seven months a half world away. The mission dangerous and admirable, but the return and reunion priceless. Depending your size, Matt Gregory was there when the Ike pulled in. Today was the big homecoming. In addition to ships like the USS Nitsa returning, the USS Dwight D. Eisenhower, the aircraft carrier, returned. It was just in time to reunite families before 2017 kicks off, and in some cases, families to meet for the first time. Sun up meant bundle up for Navy families like six month old Victor Perez. Really cold out here, so mama's got to do what mama's got to do. His mother, Maria Zambrano, wants to make sure he knows who is coming home. Yes, we got a daddy doll. Not a reunion, but an introduction for Victor. He was born after his dad left. He's now starting to recognize a couple of things, so I feel like maybe it'll make the um, transition to when real dad comes it, a lot easier. Thousands of loved ones all here for a different sailor share the same look, longing for their person to return. It's exciting. It's exciting and cold, but we're going to do it for a guy anyway. When the Ike sailed into view, the anticipation built. People spotted their loved ones right away. She's right by the, the uh, flag right there, uh, not the flag, you know, the pole right there. Within drop-off distance, leaders reflected on the mission. Sailors supported attacks against ISIS in the Middle East. About 152 days of combat operations. Successful deployment by any measure. With the brow in place, the reunion rush began. Ah! Husbands and wives locked in that first embrace. And in the case of Victor Perez, an introduction to his father, Lieutenant Junior Grade Jonathan Perez. I'm very happy to be a father. It's my son. I'm ex it's exhilarating. The smile says it all. He knows who his dad is. And when he's older, he'll understand the sacrifice his father made. And maybe one day he'll be wearing my instant bars and my JG bars one day getting on one of these carriers serving his country the same way I did. You heard the Rear Admiral say there this was a large operation between the Persian Gulf and the Mediterranean Sea and these forces dropped and launched more than a million pounds of bombs on ISIS forces in Iraq and Syria. But today it's all about the homecoming. In Naval Station Norfolk, I'm Matt Gregory. Ten on your side. And we have much more on the homecomings, including pictures from yesterday's welcome home from Carrier Air Wing 3. It's all for you now, right now, on wavy.com.